Hi everybody, I'm doing a super, super easy recipe for a snack or a very light lunch or an extremely light supper. And it's um, something that is uh, that I'm doing actually for the first time. I'm going to try this because it sounds like a very easy, easy, fast and quick recipe for fried fish. Um, but that is spicy, that has a bit of a kick to it, not in terms of heat, but in terms of spice. So I'll just show quickly. I have some, actually they're sold wild sole fillets. I have three of them here. I am doing, you cannot get simpler than this. I'm not even doing egg. I have some, I'll show some coriander cilantro, which is coriander chutney. Um, it says spicy, but it's not too spicy in terms of heat. So I just pour, yeah, sorry, I just poured some there and I have some nice uh, southern style breadcrumbs here. And I'm just going to do, these are not completely frozen, but they are, um, not going to spice it too heavily. Or, sorry, not spice it. I'm not going to dip it too, too heavily in the um, coriander chutney but as you can see, quite lightly. And then I'm going to take the breadcrumbs, and I might run out of breadcrumbs for the three fish, but I'll at least do one for now, which is all I need. And I'm trying to, and I just wanted to show how I didn't use egg, and yet there is sufficient um, moisture in the chutney that you don't really need it. And this is my, has always actually been my philosophy in cooking. Use as little of whatever you need as possible because if you don't need it, it's just in a way it's kind of waste. So I do have, I did two pieces of oven and I'm just going to be frying this and uh, I will come back. So I'm back and I'm just going to turn this fish over. It looks absolutely delicious. And as you can see, it's got a golden crust. And oh my god, the smell is absolutely amazing. And this is, it cooked very, very fast because this is a, a rather thin fillet. And uh, anyways, can't wait to dig in it, dig into this talk to you real soon. We'll be back very soon. Thank you. Hi. Hi everybody. So I'm back with some coffee and the fish fry and I'm just going to have a bite and it is fried um, breadcrumb coating and coriander chutney. But it is so tasty and I didn't add any salt, anything else. And it is just so um, spicy and delicious and very different. So, um, I'll be back again. I just wanted to leave off here. Oh, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, you're definitely not in Kansas, little girl. May I welcome you to Munchkin Land? Munchkin Land? I'm afraid the usual welcoming committee of Munchkins are all away. Thank God, I'm terrified of little people. So we're back with some finger puppets that I've made and this is the Wizard of Oz, the Scarecrow. We have the little bird and the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and they're very, very, very delicate and they're knitted with mini wool. Here is the Cowardly Lion and here of course is Dorothy with Toto and this is I should. It's hard to pose them. This is Alice in Wonderland, and this is Alice with her tiny, 
teapot. It's about just over the width of a needle. And we have the, the rabbit from the Alice in Wonderland, the Queen of Hearts. And she's actually got hearts on her um, outfit. We have the Cheshire Cat and, of course, the Mad Hatter. And the, the interesting details, 10 over 6. And we have Hansel and Gretel. This is Greta or Gretel. And there's a little pig with this. There's um, a witch with the owl. There's the actual gingerbread house. This is Hansel. And we even have Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. And this is Pinocchio. I don't know what character this is, but it's certainly a character from Pinocchio. And this is the man who's the accordion player slash puppeteer. And that's actually a little accordion. So do you remember these ones that I showed you? Yeah. Yeah. So which one is your favorite? Is it Alice in Wonderland? Uh, do you remember Alice in Wonderland? I'm just oh, going that to one give. Is cute. Yes, I do remember. This is the bunny. Yeah. And I don't remember Alice in Wonderland very well, but there was a Queen of Hearts, and there was. Poor queen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is quite cute. This is the and this is his tail, his or her tail. But you know this one. Just, just put it a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. good. And this one is. I really. I think this is one of my favorite ones. The Mad Hatter. He was a very funny character, and we even have, um, I made these. But he doesn't look like very, he's mad. No, he doesn't look mad, but he it was mad, crazy mad yes. like that. Yes. But we look at the hat, and I even have that detail, 10 over 6. And so we have this this little guy I with... I like the, him, but I don't have any patient nowadays. Oh, thank you. Do that. You're the one who showed me how to do all these. The Jiminy Cricket, I'm going to just... It's it's not... Uh, I'm just going to point to it, actually. This is, of course, his trousers, his vest. We even have some buttons for his he jacket. He looks very pathetic now. He looks pathetic now, but oh my gosh, was it a challenge to make? Because if you look at my hands that's about the size of a needle yeah. so he's about only two only thing i can say it shows the patience thank you the, and pe the person who made these things means you yeah it shows the patience thank you because you said that i have patience because <laughs> i raised you <laughs> but thank you very much that means a lot i'm just going to show the hansel and gretel which in a way maybe it's not the one to show but i will because this one is not finished. And just to show, this is her Gretel's hat. And you can see how much, uh, oh, no. my gosh, this is, I am, this is a white, um, you know, knitted, uh, stocking knit stitch. Yes. And this, these parts are, embroidered. it's, yeah, it's embroidered on. I, I shouldn't show the back, but you can see how much work is involved. And this little guy is actually a pig. Uh, this is a witch with the owl, which is appropriate for this time of year. People and the gingerbread pig. house. Oh, you are a pig. But this little pig is oh, yeah. so adorable. Thank you. But they will not take it in a very bad way. No, no. No, it's like a compliment to be a pig. Yeah. I'm just going to show this last one, which is one of the ones I'm I'm really proud of, actually. The cowardly like line. Scarf. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's an actual scarf, but also his muzzle. <laughs> and um, the hair, it took a long time to do. My hair is much better than her. Oh my gosh, no, no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. I misspoke there. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed the tour. This is months and months of work. The fine details. I um, like the big project. I yeah. For this little thing. And Lots no of patients. More my patients. Yes. I raised you and all my patients go. Oh, thank you very go. much. Thank you very much.